All right, good evening, everyone. Um, sorry about yesterday's video. I couldn't um, interact while making the video, and uh, I'm so sorry about the noisy background. So today I'll be showing us um, much more about Trust Wallet and its features. So please just um, follow me as I do that. So after starting it up, this is what comes up. And I'll just run through the features briefly. Um, starting from the top left, you see a bell that's for notification. Then you see tokens. Now this is the token page. Then we have finance. And we also have um, the collectibles. So on the token page, you see the balance of all your tokens in dollars um, the multi coin wallet one is the name of the present wallet i am in then you see send if you want to send any token receive and buy then you go to the different tokens you have so for this wallet you just have the bitcoin ethereum the bnb smart chain and the health chain then if you come underneath, you see the wallet tab, the D app is for decentralized application, but we call it DApps. Then you have the DEX, which we talk, talked about, and the settings. So, okay, so we're through with this token page. So um, um, if you go through to the D apps or DAP as it may be, it's where you have... Um, um, sites you visit is, is a browser inside the wallet itself it's a browser inside the wallet but this browser is basically meant for decentralized applications so as time goes on we'll be visiting some of these um, sites and see how it works then if you go to the DEX that is the decentralized exchange you know where we talked about um, exchanging or trading your coin within the wallet so this is an example of a deck so you see here it's called trading pair so in this pair you have bnb and a twt so meaning if you have bnb in the wallet and you want to trade or swap to uh, another token so from here you can change um, the coin that you want to that you want to um, swap then the last one is the settings so I'll just talk about some features in these settings. So the first one is the wallets. Now this wallet um, shows you the number of wallets you have inside your trust wallet. So right now um, I have three. So from here you can add as many wallets as you want. Remember I told you for those that will be interested in airdrops that you should create more wallets. Especially create a specific wallet for your airdrops for some very um, good and security reasons so here you can then from here for a particular wallet you can see three dots by the right if you click on it uh, here under the name you can rename the wallet you can rename the wallet here you can see the recovery uh, the recovery phrase remember i told you this recovery phase a uh, phrase if anybody gets uh, his or her hands on it he or she has access to your wallet and the funds inside and now you can also see export account public keys now the main function of the public keys is to show all your transactions all the transactions you are performing within a, a, a particular wallet then you can see by the top right you can see bin sign that means if you want to delete the wallet so let's go back then after the wallet you see dark mode that means if you want to change the settings of your of the way uh i mean the appearance of the trust wallet that's it then now the most important is the security now under the security you see your passcode you see your auto lock you see your lock mode and the transaction signing now please pay attention everyone now this passcode for me it's like your pin that you set up um then it's um, a, a combination of i think six digits six digits so you set that up 
then auto lock if you want the application to auto lock itself you can specify the time you want it if it, if it is immediately and like that like that then the lock method if you want just the passcode or with biometrics for me i use both um, meaning that if i can either use the passcode as the six digit um, passcode or my fingerprint as the case may be now this transaction signing please guys take this very very important what i'm saying so is um this past week so many people's wallets were hacked i would explain that later now one of the reasons why um how you can stop that is this transaction signing now if this is turned on before any transaction happens in your wallet you'll be prompt to enter either your passcode or your biometrics so even if even if anybody one way or another enters your wallet once they get to this point except if they know your passcode so that is one way of securing your wallet so please make sure it's always turned on so that is for that the others are just um mm, as time goes on we'll get used to it push notification if you want notifications if you want to be getting notification about um the price changing you get that then the preference price a lot wallet connect now wallet connect is for example let's say you are browsing on your phone browser and you need to connect your trust wallet directly to the site you are browsing on it's the so it's through this wallet connect that that is being done so i think that settles it for trust wallet uh okay we've talked talked about the tokens um then if you go under the finance finance you see staking now this staking basically i would go into it in the paid class in the paid class and this collectibles so we'll talk more about it in the paid class so i guess that is all for it if there is any question you have please feel free to and to ask and i'll answer thank you very very much